All right, y'all, this is going to be a real short um, review, mostly just because of the fact that I didn't care much for anything on the car, and yes, there was some new stuff that was added, but there's only two matches that I honestly cared about, and I'd rather talk about them and talk about the overall... Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about the matches that I actually did care about. I'll talk about the main event, since it's the main event, and then I'll talk about my overall thoughts of this pay-per-view. Now... I am so happy, even though it was expected, even though people predicted it, I am happy that the New Day lost their titles. And the fact they were cradling their titles like babies and they wouldn't let them go, I'm sorry. That was a really exciting moment for me. The only jacked up part is that <sighs> Seamus, as attractive as that man is, not gonna lie, the fact that Seamus had to turn into a big turd ball... <laughs> And just take the belts away from Cesaro and then just continuously be a jerk the whole way. Which just, come on, man. They were on the same page when they came down the ramp. How come Sheamus got to go back to being a jerk? How come he just couldn't be on the same page as Cesaro and then they just go from there? Come on, man. Y'all don't have to be a heel tag team. I mean, y'all could be tweeners if you really wanted to. And it would still work. Even though this Cesaro is the favorite... It would have been nice that he actually acted more sportsman life for people to respect him. Just saying. But I know they're going to go this whole boo, yay, boo, yay, boo, yay route. But it's nice that the new day does not have the titles anymore. I can care less who has them now. Just as long as it's not on the new day and we can move on. Because they know the new day is going to have a rematch. And please let them not have it anymore. Because you got to do something new with the New Day. Yes, they're high merch sellers, but it's just to the point where their entire gimmick's becoming stale. And if that shows that everybody is still into them, gosh, entertainment has changed, man. I'm just going to say that. But other than that, everybody's entitled to liking the New Day, blah, blah, blah. But let's move on from there. I'm just happy that they're not champs anymore. Now, the match that I definitely do care about, and I think everybody in the entire arena was waiting for, was the Iron Man match between Sasha Banks and Charlotte. In my humble opinion, the wrong person won because Sasha Banks has not had a legit reign since she's been a champion. It's been 50-50 booking, back and forth, hot potato for that belt since Sasha won it. And I'm like... Why in the world, the most over woman in your company, why are you keep why do you keep giving it to Charlotte? You keep having Charlotte lose in the most epic of ways. And honestly, the way she lost on Raw was amazing. Only for her to lose to Sasha when Sasha couldn't hold out for two seconds. It had to be two seconds on the wire. I don't know what beef they had with Sasha Banks, but this has to stop, man. The pettiness, the ridiculousness has to stop. It's not good for business. If you see the crowd that's way over for one of your people, then you push that person to the moon. You don't push the opposite person, forcing people to change their minds. It's not the 80s. That crap would have worked in the 80s, but it's not that way anymore. People are independent thinkers now. They have their own mind. people, And also, um, fans are smart and wise to what's going on. Now, if they like a particular person, they're going to like that person. You can't force them to like somebody they don't like. Now, I'm not going to lie. Sasha is an amazing heel. Amazing heel. Got so much better on the mic. But it shocked me how they added her last name. Charlotte has worked so hard to get to where she was without having to lean on her father. And now the WWE is making her lean on her father. Now, with Charlotte, Charlotte is capable to be to do anything that she can on her own without her dad's help. And the fact that they actually added his name is ridiculous. It really is. And the fact that she won, I, as much as I'm a Nature Boy fan, it just, I don't know. And on Twitter, you would honestly think that he'd be cheering for his daughter winning the title again. He said nothing. He was talking about his merch. All I gotta say is this. Stop. Please. You're not doing any good to the belt. I mean, it's when it came to WrestleMania 32, it was a given, a reason why they made it such a big deal. They literally put the women's division on the map again. I mean, they literally had people respect the women. I mean, especially by changing that ridiculous 
tramps that belt to a real one. They did everything they could to make the women's division, division legit and make it equal to the men, hence why the belt looks the same but a little different. They did all that at WrestleMania 32, all that to be squandered, man. You're going to literally kind of, in my humble opinion, all this hot potato to the belt is literally just spitting on it. Just a little bit of spit hits it day by day. If you really do want to have your belt look good, you got to keep it on somebody for a long period of time. Not just the heel, man. The baby face has to have it for a little while too, and then a heel comes along to take it. I would have been fine if Nia Jax came along and feuded with, with um with uh uh Sasha Banks for a while. And then after maybe three or four months, she takes the belt off of her. And she beats up and she becomes a monster heel. Now we can't go back to this. The biggest thing is that this is the end of the line. This is supposed to be the end of the entire feud, which means that Sasha Banks cannot go back to fight for her title. She has to wait till somebody takes it off of Charlotte, which is wrong. It's wrong. It's bad enough that she's getting paid far less than Charlotte, but it's also even worse that, that Sasha Banks has not had a lengthy title reign. She's, had, she's barely had a month. Barely had a month. All I know is that it's ridiculous, and she's one of your top stars. It's been an amazing match that has literally put the women's division on Raw on the map, and y'all treat her like that. That's dirty. I'm just going to say that. Now, everybody said, oh, well, it's gearing up to this storyline. Look, we all know where it's going. It's gearing up between her and Bailey. And Bailey, let's be real. Bailey has not really earned that position. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I love Bailey. I love Bailey on NXT. I will continue to love Bailey on NXT. She has earned her spot. She has earned that championship. The build for her was amazing. The Iron Woman match that she had between Charlotte, I mean between Sasha and Bailey, that match she had with Sasha for the Iron Man match or Iron Woman match, she earned that spot because of how long she fought all the way. She fought to get to that position. She fought that position to get the. She fought a long time to even get to that position with Oscar. She did everything she could when she was on NXT. She didn't earn it here. I'm gonna be honest. She didn't. She did not build up to earn it here. She's been putting in jobber match, the jobber match, the jobber match, the jobber match, squash match, squash match, squash match, squash match. That's all she's had lately. So if they honestly put her in a title match, it's not gonna make a lot of people happy. As much as Bailey makes me happy, she hasn't earned it. She hasn't. And with Sasha Banks, now she can't go after the title no more. Until somebody loses it, somebody takes it off of Charlotte, which is wrong. I don't know what Vince got between, got against Sasha Banks, but it's sad. I, but still, I have to tip my imaginary hat off to them. That was an amazing match. They put on a stellar match. Sasha Banks gave it her all. Charlotte was ruthless and aggressive. It was a it was an amazing match. I'm not gonna take that away from him. I just think the wrong person won. But anyway, I'll talk about the main event even though I don't care. Now it was a huge rumor that Roman Reigns was going to leave the the was going to actually leave that pay per view being a dual champion. Um, I fell asleep on this part and I'm not gonna go back and watch it. But I actually did see on Twitter that um. Chris Jericho came out, and it was a DQ allowing Kevin Owens to win. Now, I'm fine with that because Roman Reigns already got a championship. He don't need to be dual champion, and I'm happy that he wasn't. But the finish was cheap. It really was. Hearing that, well, seeing that from my own eyes on Twitter, it's cheap. That's a cheap finish. And then, of course... It's like the ex-girlfriend coming out to tease the ex-boyfriend and then somehow the ex-girlfriend's like, no, I don't want you no more. And then I slap you in the face, but instead it's a cold breaker. I'm so tired of this back and forth relationship. I'm tired of it. I want it dead. I want it dead, buried on the ground, and never come back. And I want Jericho gone too. Not so much dead. I just want him gone. Like seriously, I'm really sick to, I'm sick to death of Jericho. Everybody keeps saying what a genius he is. Sure, he's able to get a freaking list over. That's great. That's wonderful. But Jericho's overstayed is welcome. That's just my opinion. He really has. It's time for him to go. And it's time for him to stay gone for at least several years. 
That's just my opinion. It's not doing anything for Kevin Owens. It's making Kevin Owens like a stooge. It's done nothing. I mean, it's been entertaining, yes, but has it done anything for Kevin Owens? No. Chris Jericho don't need to have anything done for him. He's already been there, done that, got the t-shirt. And more. So that view was really stupid. But here's my own humble opinion about this. This is all set up for Jericho to go against Kevin Owens. Probably at the Royal Rumble. And he's going to take the belt off Kevin Owens. I I'm just going to say that. Kevin Owens is not going to be the Universal Champion. He's going to lose it to Chris Jericho. But eventually Chris Jericho is going to keep it probably up to WrestleMania. Have his WrestleMania moment and then dip. That's what he's going to do. We all know that Chris Jericho got a massive ego. So of course he's going to have to have his little moment before he leaves. Even though he's, but I will admit his moment with Fandango was probably one of the worst. So if he wants to go out with a bang, fine. Because I know that Chris Jericho is going to put on an amazing match. But that ridiculous relationship between him and Kevin Owens did nothing for him. Nothing. And did I care less about this, uh, that match? Yeah, I could give two craps about that match. Seriously. I can give two craps about most of the entire card. Because some of these feuds should not have even happened. I've already talked about Rusev and um, Rusev and Enzo. Because it looks like that Rusev should not be feuding with Enzo or Big Cass. Especially Big Cass. And Big Cass will have a rematch with him tonight. Well, actually, yeah, tonight because it's Monday. But other than that, y'all, it's stupid. Because it looks like Enzo's a complete stooge. The fact that he can't fight for himself. He looks like an idiot. I'm not going to lie. He really does. An idiot with his pants down. Because Enzo can't fight his own battles. Big Cass got to fight. That's how it looks to me. And Rusev deserves a far better feud than being with Enzo and Cass. And he hasn't. Bad enough that Lana's been slut-shamed since she married the guy. And the fact that she actually pulled Alita Malenko, which has happened before, people. We've seen this before. She pulled Alita Malenko. And... Yeah, she kind of had Rusev beat him up. But would you? I'm with Ruru. Okay, not Ruru. I'm with Rusev. Mostly because of the fact that Enzo tried to sleep with another man's wife. Yes, she seduced him and trying to trick him and get him in there. But his butt should have just walked on. And I know a storyline. But the fact is, is that these, these two have not been married that long. Can we please just allow them to be married? And just let them have their own lives. The one thing that I am concerned about is the fact that it's going to end their relationship. I like Rusev and Lana. And yes, they're married in real life. I don't want their relationship to be affected by this. And it always happens in the wrestling business when you involve your wife or your spouse. I mean, shoot, look at Taker and Sarah. Sarah and Taker are not even together anymore. Look at any, shoot, look at um, anyone else that has that had their spouse involved in the storyline. Except for... Um, Triple H and Stephanie, that was weird. Triple H was already engaged before he actually met Stephanie and ended up breaking it off with China. I'm not going to go into that. Rest, your, rest in peace, China. I, I'm, I'm not going to go into that. But the thing of it is, is that I'm hoping that it don't affect the relationship in the long run. That's just me personally. But when it comes to the match and the overall card, it was meh. I didn't even care. I mean, Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman was stupid. Because, and like I said before on my um, predictions video, they love Dave vs. Goliath style matches. They salivate over them. But here's the problem. It has to have a decent build. This did not. It was, it was stupid. And it was bad enough that you got Skinny Mick Foley, who looked completely emaciated, coming out trying with a freaking towel. Is it even necessary for him to even be out there? No. He was doing fine on his own. Let's be honest here. When it comes to Sami Zayn, we know Sami Zayn can last 10 minutes. If he can last 10 minutes with Shinsuke Nakamura, he can last 10 minutes with Braun freaking Strowman. And I said that on Twitter. And it's stupid. This whole feud was dumb. Then you had Mick Foley coming out with the flag. I don't know. What, was he trying to make himself feel special? There's really no reason for Mick Foley to even be out there. Excuse me, spitting everywhere. But it was just dumb. The whole feud was dumb. It was stupid. I was ready for it to end. This whole card was dumb. It really was. 
And I was really shocked that they actually just had one women's match. And it was just the Iron Woman, uh, it was the Iron Woman match, or the Iron Man match. I'm not going to try to gentrify it. But the Iron Man match between Sasha and, and Charlotte. I'm kind of happy with this, because usually when you have two matches on the card that weren't, that had no build, it just seems like it's overkill. It just does. So I'm happy they just had one women's match tonight. But those are the only two matches that I cared about. The only match I cared about was the tag team titles. And also with the Iron Man match. The only match you care about. And I think the crowd felt that too. Because the crowd was dead. The crowd was dead the entire time, man. And I was really shocked with that. I was. But, they, I mean, they just weren't excited at all. They were only excited for the Iron Woman, the Iron Man match. Here I am, Jordan firing it. They were um, excited about the Iron Man match and the tag team titles. They were. And there were a lot of people that weren't happy with the outcome. They were like me. But other than that, those are the only two matches that I cared about. And the entire car was like, man, I could care less about the whole car. There wasn't a lot of build towards it. And I didn't even care. I didn't. But as for this pay-per-view, if I actually did give it a letter rating, I gotta give it a C. Because I can't really give it a D or an F. Because I actually was very excited about the Iron Man match. And I cared. And also about the tag team titles being taken from New Day. I cared. Did I care about the main event? No. Not at all. Did I care about Seth Rollins and his feud with Jericho? No, not at all. Because it was dumb. Because we know that, that Seth Rollins should not be feuding at all with um with Chris Jericho. He, be, he should be feuding with Triple H. We didn't see hiding no hair of him tonight. And I kind of knew that was going to happen. But other than that, guys, those are my overall thoughts towards Roblox. What are yours? Leave in the comments below. I am absolutely bored with that pay-per-view, man. And they better bring out the Rumble. Like, seriously, this is supposed to be the pay-per-view, the last pay-per-view of the year for Raw, and they did this. That's kind of messed up. I would, I mean, in my humble opinion, I'm happy that they are shortening the amount of pay-per-views for next year, because maybe they'll have less people sleeping and more people watching. Peace out.